Good afternoon and welcome to Webinar Wednesday. Today we are joined by some special guests from our Nashville office, Sydney Creek and Kristen Register, our recruiting specialist at HTM Jobs. Welcome to uh, Webinar Wednesday. We'd like to thank our sponsor, HTM HTM Jobs. HTMJobs.com is a niche job board powered by Tech Nation that aims to connect qualified biomedical and imaging professionals with hiring managers from the leading healthcare systems and companies. They offer a variety of job posting packages for employers and provide a free registration and application process for candidates. As the fastest growing HTM talent network in the United States, htmjobs.com has opportunities for everyone. So for more information, please visit htmjobs.com. Just a quick reminder about our full MD Expo. We're headed to the Curie Royal Hotel in Orlando, Florida from October the 29th to the 31st. So please join us for three days of education, networking, and the latest advances in medical technology products and services. Registration is now open, so for more details, please visit mdexposhow.com. Also, a copy of the pre-show planner can be found in the handout section of your webinar dashboard, as well as some information about HTM Jobs. Today's webinar is eligible for one CE credit from the ACI, and you can obtain your CE certificate by completing the post-webinar survey, which will be emailed one hour after the completion of today's webinar. You must complete the survey to receive your 1CE credit from the ACI and you'll be able to download the certificate directly from your computer once the survey is submitted. If you have any questions, you can reach us at webinar at mdpublishing.com. Let's kick off today's webinar by giving away one of our Webinar Wednesday t-shirts to the attendee that can tell me the answer to the following question. HTM Jobs is located in Nashville. What is the nickname of the AT&T Tower in downtown Nashville? Just a quick clue, its nickname is due to its resemblance to an animal's ears. Answer now using the questions feature on your dashboard and I'll reveal the answer at the end of the webinar. We'll wrap up today's presentation with a live Q&A, so please submit your questions anytime using the questions feature on the webinar dashboard. As I mentioned earlier, our presenters today are Sydney Krieg and Kristen Register, and they will be discussing HTM jobs, the future of HTM careers. Kristen, you may begin whenever you're ready. Thanks so much, Linda. Hi, everyone, and welcome. Thank you for joining us on this Wednesday. Uh, my name is Kristen Register. I'm the sales specialist for HTM jobs. So basically what I do with HTM jobs is I work with employers, whether that's a hospital, healthcare system, or independent service organization, on getting your open positions up on the site, finding those pain points and how we can best serve you on getting your openings filled. And I'm here with my counterpart to the dynamic duo, Sydney, and she's going to introduce herself. Thanks, Kristen. I'm Sydney Krieg. I am the recruiting specialist for HTM Jobs, and we like to call ourselves the dynamic duo. So I handle more of the recruitment side, so sourcing candidates, helping students find open opportunities, updating the listings, anything that pertains to helping you guys get your next career opportunity. And like Kristen said, thank you all for joining. We really hope that this webinar is useful in whatever aspect you're in. And HTM Jobs, like we said, is a niche job board just for this industry. And we're going to talk about what we do and how it's the future of HTM careers. We're going to start off with Linda hopping back on to do two quick polls so we can get a better idea of what you guys know about HTM Jobs. Okay, thank you, Kristen. Right, uh, the first poll is, are you currently registered to HTM Jobs? I will give you a few seconds to cast your article. Thank okay, you, I'm going to close the poll. And your answers, Kristen and Sydney, are we got at 49% say yes, they're registered, and 51% say they're not. So going on to the following poll. Have you ever listed your open positions on HTM jobs? Again, I'll give you a few seconds to cost your vote. Okay. Right, you have 
70% that said yes, and 93% that said no. Back to you, Kristen. Thanks so much, Linda. Okay, great. So about half registered, half not. So that's great to hear that we have some registered users joining, but for those of you that are not, don't worry. We'll explain the process of getting that up. And we have a few people that have used this on the employer side, that's great to hear. But everyone else joining, we're excited to share a little bit more about how you can get your listings up. Okay, so you might be wondering how HTM Jobs got started. Um, about three years ago, our president, John Krieg, was inundated at shows and via email conversations about where to find technicians looking for work and where the opportunities lie. So that kind of sparked an idea in his head of creating a niche job board, a centralized hub, just for this industry. So technicians looking for open opportunities could come to the site and apply for jobs there, and then hiring managers and organizations looking to hire could get their jobs listed and in front of the right talent network. So we like to joke that we're the match.com for this industry. So we connect all of you HTM professionals, imaging professionals with the open opportunities in the field. So you probably wonder where HTM Jobs fits into the entire MD Publishing team. So we have a lot of great presence at all of our in-person shows like the ICE Conference, MD Expo, HTM Mixers, but we also are powered by the leading magazine in the HTM field, Technation Magazine, as well as our ICE Magazine for imaging professionals. So this just really shows the strength and numbers that we have in this industry. When you join HTM Jobs, you basically become a part of this big family. We also encourage you to get registered to our sister company, MedWrench. So this just, again, shows you that we have this great reach that we can get through our subscriber list, our in-person attendees, and that HTM Jobs is just another piece of the puzzle to help this industry grow to the best that it can be. Yeah, I think that really sets us apart from any other recruiters or any other job boards out there when you're listing your site, because a lot of the people that come to our site have used other platforms or other recruiters. And I think that we're fortunate enough to be a part of this network. And we have people within our company who can really incite a lot of wisdom for us and have built connections over the years. And so we really do like to take advantage of that. So like Kristen said, when you're joining HTM Jobs, whether on the candidate or employer side, you're really joining a bigger family, a bigger network, and we kind of all work in a way to support one another. So a little overview of htmjobs.com. We were founded about three years ago and have grown steadily ever since. So we have 2,500 and growing biomedical imaging clinical engineering professionals. So to register to our site, you have to have the required experience. So whether that's a student in technical college or you're looking to make the jump into the HTM field or you're a director or manager of clinical engineering, we have a wide variety of skill levels. Um, but we really do pride ourselves on that. There won't be anybody in our talent network that doesn't have you know, a remote type of sense of what this industry is and are striving towards joining the industry. So we average between 100 to 150 new users each month. We'll see a spike when we go to our in-person shows or when we go to state association shows and can kind of one-on-one, face-to-face -on -one, -face connect with um, new people that might be looking for jobs or looking to join or people that don't know about us. So we really try to make a conscious effort to get new talent in there. Um, and so we get, like I said, about 100 to 150 new users, qualified users each month. And we have successfully placed over 100 candidates over the years. So um, we really make an effort to, once candidates apply for positions or if they've expressed an interest in the certain types of positions they're looking for, we really go back to our employers and we really try to find opportunities for them. So Kristen and I are behind the scenes constantly playing matchmaker for you guys. So um, you're not just kind of submitting your resume out there and then never hearing back. So, and then in addition to that, we have on the site about Right now, about 300 plus positions. That varies. Sometimes we'll have a little bit lower. Sometimes we'll have 500 plus. The HTM Jobs team, we really want to make sure we have the most current and up to date positions on our site. So we update them daily, if not a couple times a week. So once you register to the site, you can search by keyword, you can search by location, you can search by 
um, job title, company, anything like that. And if you don't see anything on the site, you know, today that you're looking for, we encourage you to keep checking back quite frequently because those positions get changed out all the time. So, and those are nationwide. So whether you're looking East Coast, West Coast, somewhere in the middle, we're bound to have exactly what you're looking for. And they range from internships, externships, all the way up to manager director. So no matter what experience level that you're looking for, we're bound to have something within the week that you register. Now, why HTM jobs? Why would you choose to either join our talent network or list with us? There's many, many reasons, but we just want to highlight a few. So one thing that's really important with HTM jobs is the relationships that we build with hiring managers and our employers. So we know it's a very strenuous task when you are looking for new candidates and trying to find the perfect fit for your organization. So Sydney and I make sure that we keep a really close relationship with any of the hiring managers for their pain points that they're looking for. We like to speak in person at shows with them to make sure that we're really utilizing our efforts to find them the right candidates. And even at in-person shows, if you're not able to make them yourself as an organization, Sydney and I, like we said, go to almost every MD Expo, ICE conference, state associations, Amy, to kind of list out all the open positions if you're not there to do it yourself. So keeping those close relationships is a great reason to choose HTM jobs because we're not just a robot behind a screen, we're real people there to help you with your needs. And to add to that, just a little success story of ours. Um, we have had Banner Health post a lot of their positions on our site. They had one of our memberships for several years. We had a CBET student that was looking for an externship and we have a close relationship with our colleges. They reached out to us. They couldn't find an externship in Arizona. So we didn't know of anything on our site. We didn't know of anything out there. So all we did was, you know, reach out to our contact at Banner who then went into, you know, their department to see if there was any way that they could find a spot for this person. They didn't even have a vacancy and they made a spot for him for this externship and He's out there at Banner Health working with them now. So, you know, even because of these relationships, even if we don't have something on our site or, you know, we know of something becoming available, we're here to support the industry. Obviously, it's nice when we can kind of connect candidates or students looking for positions with ones that are on our site, but we're really here as a greater goal just to help out this industry because we know how challenging it can be on both sides. It can be overwhelming to apply for positions and it can be overwhelming when you have vacancies to fill and they're not getting filled. So. We really try to foster these relationships with our employers and have you know good relationships with them and then like we previously mentioned we're htm specific so we get asked all the time if we post sales positions even if it's within an htm organization we don't we only post technical positions clinical engineering imaging anything like that so that when our candidates register to the site they know that any job on our job board is going to be relevant to them. It might not be the exact job they're looking for, but they're going to be HTM specific. And on the other side of things, on the employer side, any candidate that applies for your job, like we said, you know, might not be as qualified or have the level of experience that you're looking for, but it's not going to be, you know, somebody that has no idea what HTM even is, which I think we've heard, you know, some challenges expressed that, you know, you might get quantity over quality on the larger job board. So you might be getting hundreds of applications, but they're not relevant to, you know, the job that you're looking to fill. So we save you time on that end where, you know, you might have fewer applications, but they're all going to be specific to what you're looking for. Yeah, the number of conversations that I have, that's one thing that we try to alleviate the strain and the sifting through applications that have nothing to do with HTM. That's another reason why we created this job board was there's no resource like ours in this industry where you can directly go and find the perfect job within the HTM field. So HTM jobs really does alleviate that challenge of making sure that you're finding the qualified candidates to fill those roles. And then just touching on another reason why HTM job should be the job board for you, we really pride ourselves on our outreach. So like Kristen previously mentioned, when you join our organization, you're joining all of the pieces of the puzzle. So we attend all of our in-person shows, so MD Expos, ICE conferences, HTM mixers. We really make an effort to have at least some type of presence at the state associations, the Amy Exchange, 
um, events like that. And then we also, because we are kind of involved and a part of this larger organization, we're able to host um, networking events in person and virtual. But you know, at MD Expo Houston last spring, we were able to host a career center where we had the, for free, we had the employers that post their positions on our site. If they wanted to participate, they could come into a ballroom where we had you know, booths set up for them so they could discuss their open opportunities. And then we went out and got people that were looking for jobs. I think we had about 150 people and our young professionals group that was there. Um, and the feedback that we got was great that people were able to introduce themselves in kind of a less stressful environment. You know, we had drinks and, co and um, photos being taken for headshots. And we really tried to make it an environment where people were comfortable going up to employers, especially students, because we know at trade shows it can be a bit daunting to have to do that. And then in addition to our in-person events, we um, like to maintain and foster our relationships with technical colleges. So we try to connect with them recently, or for the last couple of years, we've been doing CBET webinars. So every six weeks, they have a new cohort of students. So we would join a webinar, we would speak to them on you know, why they should use HGM jobs, walk them through the registration process and answer any questions they had about joining the workforce. Um, so we really try to touch as many events and um, networking events as possible to get talent. Yeah, as we all know and can probably hear in this industry, there's more people leaving this industry than coming into it. So HTM Jobs is really trying to connect with those colleges that are beginning their career and helping them navigate through um, and really replenish the workforce that is heading towards the retirement age. So that's an initiative that we've taken on that we're really trying to bring in the new wave of talent. So if you don't believe us, <laughs> believe one of our many fans. Um, so we included some testimonials um, just to kind of touch on our success stories. So from one of our CBET students, they said that HTM Jobs is a remarkable website that can be used by any personnel looking for employment, internships, or just a good read from their career center. Additionally, one of the candidates we worked closely with said that I felt like I wasn't just another resume lost in the sea of resumes employers breeze through when searching for their candidate. Yeah, and to touch on that again, that's why we made HTM jobs so niche is that we don't have to deal with sitting there waiting for hours or days or even weeks on a response from an employer. Sydney works diligently with the candidate to make sure they hear any feedback, whether that's a yes or a no, in moving forward in the interview process. And then on the candidate or on the employer side, company like ours have such a difficult time finding qualified candidates for field service roles that it just made sense to publish our opening with HTM jobs. I think that one speaks for itself. And then Fairbanks, Alaska is hard to recruit for, but I took out an ad on HTM jobs and got two good applicants in less than 30 days. I'm hiring them both. Thanks, HTM jobs. With that being said, uh, if we can find two qualified candidates in Fairbanks, Alaska, I think we can find candidates just, just about anywhere, so. Okay, and then here we wanted to put together a little gallery. We've gone to, we've had the pleasure and have been invited to so many conferences, so many events in this industry. And like I said, we really try to make our presence known there. Um, we have a lot of support, a lot of manpower when we go to these shows from our team and have really, you know, they've really paved the way for us. Kristen and I didn't go to school for this, for in this industry, you know, we were relatively new to the industry when we joined. So we've really over the years been able to kind of learn more and really expand our network and connect with as many people as possible. Yeah, and at the in-person shows, it's a great way to stay in touch with our employees if they're there, or again, if they're not there, represent them in their openings, and also connect in person with candidates. We try to bring them in, explain what HTM Jobs is, how they can be a part of our talent network, and even sometimes point them into the right direction to go speak to the employer at the show. That's a great way for candidates to learn more about what organization they want to join. And if you can't tell, we like to have lots of fun. We know that the job search process and the hiring process can sometimes be a bit daunting, a bit exhausting. So we like to keep it fun. We're young, you know, we wanna make sure that, you know, everyone's having a pleasurable, enjoyable experience when they work with HTM Jobs. We work hard, but have fun doing it. 
Okay, so now that we've discussed kind of who we are and what we do, why you should use us, we're going to kind of dive in a little bit deeper on the candidate and employer side of, you know, the steps that you need to take to become a part of our talent network. So when you go to htmjobs.com, there is a tab that says free registration. You'll click on that. Um, I want to express that we wanted to make this process free for all of you. So free registration, free application process from start to beginning, start to finish, you're not going to be paying for anything and it's completely confidential. We know that a lot of candidates, if not all of them, want to you know, keep it under wraps if they're looking for a new position and we really respect and uphold the confidentiality. So when you're you know, creating your profile or applying for positions, you have to act, you know, grant permission for us to access your resume. So you have to fill out if you're comfortable with us sending your resume to employers or reaching out with you. So we want to make sure that it's like a safe and comfortable environment for you because, you know, you never want your current boss to know that you're looking for a new position unless you've told them yourself. So you'll go to the registration page and we wanted to make this pretty simple but also thorough enough so that when you do register we can go back in there and kind of get a better sense of who you are as a candidate so you'll be asked questions such as your desired salary range if you're willing to relocate what types of positions you're looking for um, any past or current experiences certifications anything like that um, your contact information all of that and then that's all of the required information that you'll need to fill out. And then you'll have an opportunity at the end of the registration process to upload any documents. So you can upload your resume, any CVs, certificate, certificates, any um, letters of recommendation you might have. Um, we like to encourage candidates to do this, but we know that you don't always have access to it when you're registering. So you can always go back once you've completed your profile and update those documents. Um, and we encourage our candidates to make sure that that is, you know, re staying relevant. So we want to make sure your profile is staying up to date, whether you've moved or if you've added an experience to your resume to make sure that that's up to date, because we do go into the profiles quite frequently when, you know, looking for candidates or trying to help you find a new position. So once you've completed the registration process, you can then have access to all of our jobs. So if you're not registered, you'll just be able to see the job title and location, the company that it's with. Once you are registered, you can click on any of the job descriptions and you'll get a better sense of you know, the responsibilities, the qualifications, any of the salary or benefits packages the company offers. And then you will be at the bottom of the page, you'll have the opportunity to apply for the position. So Kristen will probably touch on this a little bit later, but we do offer two different types of application methods. So we have the HTM jobs online application. So at the bottom of the page, you will hit the drop down menu, put your name, your email, and submit your resume. And then that application gets sent to our back end where we can have access to it and review it. Or some employers opt for um, our external URL option. So you'll still be on the HTM Jobs website, but you'll go down to the bottom and click the external link. That'll then take you to the employer's job page or career center, and then you'll be able to apply for the position there. We still stay in touch with our employers that use that option and make sure that everything's tracking correctly. Yes, and another quick thing too, when you're applying for jobs, we know it can be overwhelming on where do I even begin. We've made the HTM job site very user friendly. We have drop down buttons where you can break it down between management, imaging, technical, internships, and we even have location searches and keyword searches if you're looking for something super specific. And you can even save jobs. So if you go in and you're on your phone and you you know, might wanna come back to that position or to apply for it, but you don't have the materials needed, you can save it and then go back to it. Cause we know that there are a lot of jobs. We know it's sometimes hard to search through all of them. So we wanna make it as easy as possible for y'all. Okay, so once you've registered, once you've browsed our jobs and you've found some that you have applied for and are interested in, what happens next? So like I said, your resume will be sent to our back end where we'll be notified that you've applied for a position. All of our employers also get automated emails um, when an application is submitted. So we're kind of tag teaming it on both ends because you know the more eyes on it, the better. We know that a lot of applications come in, a lot of people are interested. So we wanna make sure nothing gets lost. So we'll review your resume. I will personally reach out to you once you've applied for a job to either talk over the phone, email, LinkedIn chat, whatever method works best for you, just to get a better sense of who you are as a candidate, 
you know, the desired salary, the things that you might not want to, you know, submit or have the information of on your application. Um, so once I get a better sense of who you are as a candidate, if I think this, you know, with our experience might be the right job for you, we will then connect you directly with the hiring managers. So like we've said, a lot of times you'll submit an application on other job boards and it just sits there and you don't hear anything for maybe a couple weeks, sometimes months, and you get no update. We don't want to waste your time. We know that you've probably applied to several positions when you're looking for a job. So we want to make sure that we're kind of the middleman, the third party that directly connects you with the hiring managers. From that point on, they will initiate and begin the interview process. But we, you know, really try to make an effort of checking back in with both you and our hiring contact to make sure things are going smoothly. If they have had any trouble communicating with you or getting in contact, um, we want to make sure that things are, you know, working as they should. So once that happens and you're in the interview process and you find your dream job, that is the goal of all of this, that you can come to our site and find the opportunity that's right for you. Um, we wish you the best of luck and don't forget to stay in touch should you need a career change in the future. We know that you guys are constantly wanting to excel in your career and you know, get to the manager level, get to the director level, or you know, circumstances happen where you need to change jobs. We want people to join our talent network and be a part of it for the entirety of their career. Whether you're actively looking for a job or not, we really want to foster those relationships. So we never know what happens in life. The time comes that you need a new job. We want to be there for you. Here's an example of some of our stellar employers that have listed on HTM jobs. So we work closely with anything from a single hospital to large healthcare facilities that are nationwide to independent service organizations. So I would love to have a conversation if you're looking to post your hiring needs, really figure out how we can best serve you guys. So this is just a great collage to show exactly the type of employers that we list on HTM jobs. We have several different posting options that employers can utilize. They range from a 45-day job posting all the way up to a 12-month unlimited membership. Our 45-day job posting is a single job posting that runs for 45 days versus the average 30 days. It gives both the candidate and the employer a little bit extra time to make sure it's the right fit. With that, we do everything, like Sydney says, she'll connect with the candidate, drive them to the job listing. We get it posted on all of our social media channels, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, and then we also get included in our weekly newsletter, which we'll touch on a little bit later. But with our job lo postings, we make ourselves different from the larger job boards by that personalized touch. So the reach that we have on social media through Tech Nation, ICE, we make sure that even in the 45 days that it's going to get the visibility that it needs to find that right candidate. The next step down would be that five pack of 45 day job postings. This is a great option for succession planning. We know that sometimes you need someone yesterday or sometimes you actually know that three months down the road you're gonna have a vacancy. So this five pack of 45 day job postings is a great way to stay ahead of the game. You can utilize two at one time and have three in your pocket for later or you can even extend out a previous position that you had used in the past to re-emphasize that the position is still open and just give a little bit more time for candidates to find that position. We also have a year-long job posting. This is great for kind of longer needs or continuously hiring. We've had a lot of companies that have high turnover rates, so they want to consistently keep feelers out there. The year-long job posting is a great way to do that. Then we have our six and 12 month unlimited memberships. These are for the big, big boys that have, I would say over 20 open positions at any given time. You're able to post every position that you have and the HTM job team actually alleviates the pressure of you keeping it up to date on your end. We actually will go into your career page and make sure that the newest positions are posted and take down the ones that are filled. With this, you get a little bit more time on the site, so that allows a little bit more exposure in both Tech Nation and ICE magazines, as well as custom e-blasts, where like the weekly newsletter, we're able to highlight just your employer, the open positions you have, and link it all back to your website on why someone would wanna work for you. So these unlimited memberships are a great way, like I said, if you have multiple needs ranging between 10 to 
We even have some that are 200 plus. So there really is no limit of how many you can post. So contact me directly, or we have a web submission form on our site to learn more about the pricing that comes with these options. Another route that you can go down, I can't tell you how many times I hear I needed someone yesterday. Well, we have a great option for you then. We have recruiting services that are six month recruiting contracts and the best part, zero upfront costs. So there's no cost associated when joining our recruiting services. We just ask for a 10 to 15 placement fee once that candidate is hired from HTM jobs. And of course we offer a 90 day guarantee. So if the candidate leaves, voluntarily or involuntarily for whatever reason, we'll replace that candidate at no extra cost. So I'll let Sydney talk on what she does exactly to get these recruiting services in motion. Yeah, so while our other jobs that are listed on the site do you know, require recruiting and we do organically kind of help drive traffic to those listings through our social media posts, through e-newsletters, e-blasts, things like that, when you get one of our recruiting services, we kind of go the extra mile because we know that there are either more difficult locations to fill, maybe the position requires a little bit more experience or a specific type of experience, and you kind of need that you know, extra push to find the right candidate. So not only do we source through our talent network, but like we've said, we have we send e-blasts and we connect with people in the ICE Magazine Talent Network, the Tech Nation Talent Network, anyone we can get our hands on to see if they're interested in a position that we think might be qualified for. Um, we also use LinkedIn Recruiter to source candidates that might not even know about MD Publishing, Tech Nation, HTM jobs. So we're constantly drawing people in. And then once we find the people, the employers have the opportunity of sending us over any pre-screening questions they might want us to ask. So we kind of take the first step out of the way for you so that when we do send resumes, they're you know more closely to what you're looking for in a candidate. So you can send over any questions asking you know desired salary range, if they've had experience on specific modalities, anything like that. I will connect with them and create a relationship with them to get those answers for you and to kind of get a better sense of who they are as a candidate. Then we pass them along and you guys will handle the interview process. And then like Kristen said, it's a 10 to 15% placement fee, depending on the level of experience or special, special level of experience or specialty. Yes, again, this is a great option if you're looking for someone immediately harder to fill locations, like Sydney said, or specific modalities. So even though we are a job posting site and those do spectacular and we want to be a resource that people can come to on a landing page we also do offer recruiting services so any of these options mix and match um, be sure to check out all of them and utilize them we also are able to offer banner ads on the htm job site so the htm job site receives fantastic traffic anywhere between 20,000 to 25,000 page views a month and we know there's so many openings right now on HTM jobs alone. So we want to make sure that our, our employers can really stand out. This is a great way to show why an employer would be a great place for a candidate to work. We can link these back to your About Us page. We can put your motto or your values on these banner ads. So this is, again, just a great way to really stand out in the sea full of positions. Okay, so in addition to all the other sourcing, recruiting efforts, exposure we try to give our employers, we do a weekly e-newsletter. So this is our kind of opportunity to keep things a bit fun. We know you guys get a lot of emails from us mm -hmm. and a lot of emails just in general. So um, like Krista mentioned, we have banners on our e-newsletter that are available for purchase. And then we try to include a funny GIF or a meme each week, a weekly challenge, something just to brighten your day a little bit. Um, so we'll include that at the top and then then this is an opportunity for us to highlight a featured employer. So we do this with new employers that have just posted on our site, maybe smaller companies that don't have the exposure of the larger ones. Um, anyone that we haven't featured in a while that needs a little more love will do their logo big and bold right at the top and a little bit of an about us for them and then we'll have a link to all of their open positions on our site. 
And then this is where we will list, we do five positions each week. We try to do the newest listings that we have, you know, some of the ones that might get lost in the shuffle of all of the jobs we have on the site. Um, and then our membership options, um, we try to feature them every week or every other week just to stay current. So you'll have the company it's for, you'll have the job title with the link to the position, and then you'll have the location. And you can obviously apply to those directly from there. Um, this is a great way each week to kind of see what's new on the site, you know, kind of break it down a little bit. Like we said, we have a lot of jobs on there and I know that it can be a little bit overwhelming. So to have this each week and to have them in your inbox to go back and check through is um, super helpful. And then at the bottom of the page, we just have links to our career center. If you're an employer looking to post a job or our temp work option, we have a technician travel tech um, landing page. So if you're interested in temp work or anything of that sort, you can fill out an application and we'll help you find positions that way. And then obviously our links to our social media pages so you can connect with us there. Yeah. And our newsletter, again, is just another great way that we have the audience that you're looking for. So this is a great way to reach our talent network, our subscriber list on HTM jobs, as well as the Tech Nation and ICE talent network. So we know a lot of times candidates could be fearful to register to the site without actually re be ready to look and apply. So this is a great way to keep your openings in front of some candidates that could potentially be interested once they see something that piques their interest. So again, just another great way that HTM Jobs really gets as much visibility as possible for every position on the site. Okay, in addition to our job listings and the candidate portals, everything we've discussed, we have a career center. So we know that not everybody in our talent network is gonna be looking for a job right now. You know, you may have registered as a student and aren't ready for another six months to find a job, or maybe you found a job with us and are happy there and just wanna stay up to date. We have a career center with articles we post each month um, from industry professionals, talking about what's going on in the industry, any news um, we have for our students or anyone needing a refresher. We have resume templates. Um, we have how to identify and prevent employee burnout. So we really try to cater to not only the candidate side, but the employer side as well. So you can go in here and just stay up to date on you know, the newest happenings. So just in case you're not looking for a job, we want you to still be a part of our network and to still kind of use this as a resource for you as an HTM professional. Yeah, absolutely. And this is also a great place to get yourself ready for that next interview once you are starting to look. Like Sydney said, we have a resume template that's completely free to download that you can input your own personal information. We know sometimes those get a little rusty if they're not touched frequently. And so that's a nice kind of template to access there as well as just interview tips. So sometimes we know that this field is very quick and changing and we sometimes forget how to sell ourselves. So there's some great articles on how you can do that before the interview. Okay, and we've highlighted on all of this, but we wanna make sure that we're staying connected with all of you. So hgmjobs.com can be accessed on a desktop, tablet, phone, anything of that sort. We know you're not always on your desktop, so we wanna make sure you have an easy way to staying up to date. We're on our social media platforms. We probably use LinkedIn the most frequently. We post every single day, if not twice a day, on our HTM Jobs page. Kristen and I are constantly posting on LinkedIn. And that's another great way, in addition to the newsletter, to kind of stay up to date on our newest listings. So we do social media graphics that highlight companies. We'll do funny ones that we'll get into later. We'll do new positions that are available on the site. Um, and that's a great way to kind of stay up to date as well. We have our newsletters, we have e-blasts that go out, um, you know, a couple each month, depending on new memberships or positions that, you know, we just posted on the site and want to give a little extra love to. So as Sydney touched on, we like to have fun, especially on social media. We know a lot of your news feed is used with the same content and a lot of the jobs, titles and descriptions are similar. So we try to highlight them in a fun way. If you follow us on HTM Jobs, you know we do funny Fridays like you see on the bottom left and bottom right. And then we also like to do Opportunity Tuesdays to highlight different regions of the U.S. And we even like to promote where we're heading to next. So HTM Mixer calls for some lobster costumes. <laughs> so just make sure that you follow us on social media to learn about new open positions and also just to have a little smile in your day. 
Okay, and now here's some QR codes. You will have you know, the opportunity to connect with us. We encourage you to do that. We are on LinkedIn all day long chatting with all of you. So that's a great way to get in touch with us as well as using htmjobs.com. But we'd be happy to connect with you, answer any questions you might have, anything that pops up, we'll be sure to reach out on that way. Absolutely. LinkedIn is extremely important to create an account just to say networking. Um, when you're looking for a new position, a great thing that we always encourage candidates, candidates to do is go on LinkedIn and connect with as many people in that organization to show A, your interest and B, feel free to ask them questions about why they like working there. So we want HTM jobs to be the resource to apply for the position, but LinkedIn is a great resource that we utilize to connect with people in this industry. And then a giveaway, which everybody <laughs> loves. Um, if you've attended today's webinar and you are already an existing user to HTM Jobs or you register after this webinar, you will have the opportunity to win this sick Leatherman <laughs> gadget. Um, so make sure if you're not registered already, go ahead and do that. Employers can register too. Um, so we wanna get you in our network and get connected with y'all. So this is a little bit of an incentive to get you on the site. And that concludes our presentation. Um, we wanna thank you guys again for joining today. Thank you for the opportunity, Linda and MD Publishing for having us. And we really hope that we have been able to highlight how HTM jobs is hopefully the future of HTM careers. We know how stressful it can be, especially in this climate to find the right technicians or to find a career yourself. So I hope that we have been able to build a relationship with you guys and get you on the site and help you alleviate some of those pains. And if we haven't, this is the time to ask the questions. Yes. <laughs> you have lots of questions. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> right, the first one is, um, why should employers use htmjobs.com for their hiring needs as opposed to other larger job boards? Yeah, I feel we've definitely touched on this, but again, um, making us different than the larger job boards is the personalized aspect, alleviating the challenges of looking through resumes that aren't relevant to this industry at a competitive rate. And again, the visibility that we can give through Tech Nation, ICE, at in-person shows, HTM Jobs really is here to help the industry, give a helping hand to any hospital, um, healthcare facility, or even company fill those needs. So using us, we add the personalized HTM portion of it. We know what's going on in this industry and that's why we encourage employers to use us versus the larger job boards. Great, another question here is, why should htmjobs.com be the go-to resource for candidates in the HTM industry? I can speak on that. Um, similar to Kristen, we really pride ourselves on it being the two of us here. We are human beings. We're not just some algorithm in the back that's sorting through resumes and can dump resumes if they don't meet the qualifications. So um, in the, at least the job application process, we're there with our own two eyes, scanning them, making sure that they're getting put in the right hands. And if not, then we're helping you find another career opportunity that might be better suited for you as students um, or as people entering the field. This is a one-stop shop for all of your needs. Like we said, we have our career center where you can learn more, or you can get brushed up on your interview or resume tips. We have jobs all the time. They're constantly changing. Um, so like we said, even if you don't see something on the site one week, that could completely change the next week. We like to have a variety of employers on the page. We like to have a variety of skill levels. So from internships to director roles, um, so we really want you to get in our network and then also build the relationships with us because like we said, we're fortunate enough to be a part of this bigger network that's bigger than HTM jobs. So we have a reach that might be a little bit more powerful or a, more broad as opposed to other recruiters or any other job boards where you just submit an application and then kind of hope to hear back. So we really want you to feel like you have us in your corner when you're in the job search. Perfect. Uh, another question here is, um, it appears that the biomed salary ranges have not kept up with inflation for many years. When do you think this might get corrected? That's a good question. That's a great question. Um, we actually have spoken with some employers on this and even some people in the field on this. And we have even noticed, we did a presentation at the MD Expo Atlanta where we did a career path guide and we were pulling 
actual listings from HTM jobs and comparing them to the information that Dave Scott and Brian Wilson, who are in the field and have been in the field for many years, what they thought was the next step in career path guide and they just didn't match. So we're definitely seeing a huge jump um, in pay scale, but until I think it's an overall discussion, we just don't know what kind of the next steps would be in that. Yeah, there were discrepancies before, you know, this economic climate with inflation. I think like Kristen was saying, like HR departments and then directors of clinical engineering and then recruiters and job boards are not on the same page about, you know, the expectations that come with any type of job, including salary, which is arguably one of the first things people look for when making a career jump. Um, and from what we've talked to with, you know, some of our employers, that's handled on typically the HR department to set the salary range. And they claim that they do the market analysis to make sure that, you know, it's on par, but it's typically the middle of the road range as opposed to the lower, higher end of a salary. So from our experience um, on the candidate side, it's a huge it's a huge deterrent to candidates, especially because they're, it's a candidate market. They have their pick of jobs. There are so many jobs and not enough people to fill them. And salary, it always comes down to salary as being one of the major pushes to get them to either apply or to move on to the next position. So while it kind of was a roundabout way of answering that, you know, we also don't know. I think that this is a huge problem that needs to be you know, addressed. Certainly does. So another quick question here is, do you see more value in a CE degree with minimum, minimum experience over a CHTM certification? What, do you, what, what are the market tendencies? Yeah, I think that's a great question. Um, maybe in the past, those while those certificates and those experiences are incredibly valuable, um, that's dependent kind of on the employer, whether, you know, what they're looking for in a technician. I will say Kristen and I have seen because there is this shift in clinical engineering departments, biomedical imaging departments, desperately needing technicians that they're willing to either pull from other departments or they're willing to take on somebody that might not have the level of training or certifications or experience that they need. So they're willing to train them and get them up to the level they wanna be. Um, so while those are important, I think that there are you know, other aspects of a candidate's pro portfolio and profile that stand out, which I'm sure Kristen can talk about, but, you know, definitely continue to get those certificates. They will differentiate and help you stand out as a candidate. But, you know, right now, employers don't really have the full, you know, capability mm -hmm. of being able to be super picky with some of their positions. Um, so that's definitely something to consider. Yeah, I think a lot of employers are looking for candidates for the longevity. So if that involves, you know, compromising a little bit of years experience or even certifications if they're trainable. Um, sometimes employers will definitely take that information in and workshop with the candidates to kind of mold them into the employee to fill that position. So on both the employer end and the candidate end, a helping hand is extremely needed. And so that's a, like Sydney said, something that we've been seeing in the market. Yeah. And even last thing to touch on even soft skills i think most of our employers have told us that that's the number one thing they're looking for in a candidate they're looking for somebody that's professional and able to communicate able to work well with a team you know constantly bettering themselves as a professional as an htm candidate as a technician and they're looking for someone that's going to be a good member of their team i mean all of the people that are applying for jobs like we said have experience whether it's the amount that they need or not um, having those soft skills is something that honestly a lot of employers don't see very often in candidates. So making sure that you're putting your best foot forward, you can work well with others, things like that I think are really placing a lot of precedence. Okay, that's great. Another question that's come in is, do you have any insights on recruiting trends? Are employers using recruiting incentives like sign-on bonuses um, or any increases in workplace flexibilities like telework? That is a great question, and the short answer is yes. Um, the amount of sign-on bonuses that we see on our end is hefty. So um, I, we definitely see employers using sign-on bonuses, relocation funds, flexibility. Um, we know right now a lot of candidates really 
um, have taken a shift to work-life balance, which is great. And so a lot of employers are really utilizing that in the, within their organization or company as a way to pitch themselves to candidates. So we definitely see on our end employers offering sign-on bonuses and more flexible hours. Great. Uh, another question that's coming. Do you arrange part-time or short-term opportunities? Great question. Yes, we do. We have, I would say the majority of the jobs on our site are full-time positions, but we do offer part-time. Um, like Kristen said, you're able to go in through the job portal and kind of sort through which positions we make sure to mark if they're part-time or full-time. So you can find those there if you're looking for a more part-time position. As far as temp work or short-term work, um, something we haven't really touched on is that we kind of how HTM jobs got started, we had people coming up to us at shows, either they were retiring or looking to retire, or we're just kind of looking to tinker um, every now and then for maybe a week or two, a couple weekends um, with work on the side. So we kind of just decided to do an extension of HTM jobs and have a place where people can register if they are looking for temp work. And then we either work with the employers that already list with us or our contacts in the industry to kind of help you find that work as needed. So no matter what your skill level um, or experience or you know the duration of the time you're looking to work, we really try to work with you on finding that opportunity for you. So yeah, we offer all of it. Perfect, and do your listings on the site include salary information? That's completely up to the employer, whether they would like to list that or not. It's not a requirement on our end for the employer to state what the salary requirement is. The candidates, however, have the option to put that in their profile, which employers can have access to. But we always encourage candidates, if it's not listed directly on the listing, that during the interview process, a little bit further down the road to bring that up and that it's negotiable. Perfect. Now, based on your experience, what is the greatest blocker to placement? Ooh, good that's... question. <laughs> Do we have all day? <laughs> I'll let you start on the... Yeah. On the candidate side, um, I will say communication and on the employer, on, you know, the recruitment side of things, I would say communication, whether that's the candidate applying for jobs and, you know, maybe they have applied to a bunch of jobs and kind of forget that they you know, even applied or that they've taken a position elsewhere and then don't communicate that with me or with the employer and kind of ghost as people say these days, you know, where they just kind of completely drop all communication and we don't hear from them again. That um, is something we really try to avoid and try to emphasize to our candidates to, even if you've found another position or your circumstances have changed to communicate that with both us and the employer. We don't want to waste anyone's time. And we don't, as HTM jobs, we don't want to be sending candidates to employers that, you know, can't follow through and can't communicate. Um, so I will say that. And then also on the employer side, just getting in, in touch with the right point of contact to who's going to be dealing with the hiring and, you know, overseeing the resumes. A lot of times we'll get tons of great applications and really qualified candidates that are interested and responsive and we try to communicate with our point of contact and we don't hear from them. So kind of on both sides, I would say communication is something that we really try to emphasize on the candidate and the employer side. Yeah, and a, a huge, I think, block just in the industry overall is there really are more positions than there are people to fill them right now. So I think that's just an overall conversation on why recruiting is difficult at this time. We're kind of all fighting after the same great candidates. So that's where employers can really stand out and show candidates why they would be a great place to work. So that's just something that employers can keep in mind when they start entering the recruitment process is, yes, salary is important and job description is important, but why somebody would want to join your organization is also very important. Perfect. So at what point in the process do employers have access to applicants' personal identifying information? Good question. So like we said, you'll register to the site um, and then there's a button at the bottom that you can mark if you want us to anonymously promote your profile on our social media or on our um, in our newsletter, whatever we do to try to help you get a job that's completely confidential, your name, your, you know, any physical characteristics, anything like that, they'll never be able to identify you that way. Um, once you submit an application, 
you, like we said, will get the application on our end with your information and your resume and the employer whose job you've applied for will also get just that same information. So that would be your resume, anything like that, um, nothing super personal that you haven't already kind of put forth. Um, and then from that point, once you've applied, they will be able to overview your resume and be able to connect with you then. Right, another question here is, do you see many front office or contract development type staff looking for positions? Linda, can you repeat that question? Yeah, do you see many front office or contract development type staff looking for positions? Hmm, I, 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 don't, think so. I don't think so. I personally don't know if I have the right answer. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen it, but we can obviously, you know, dive a little bit deeper into that and give a better answer, but Right now, I haven't seen much of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great, no problems. Um, here's a quick question for you. How many matches or placement do you think you have done in the past 12 months? Well, that's a great question. So we've had over 100 since we've started in the past 12 months, I would say probably closer to the 100 mark. When we say over 100, that's just the online that we can for sure see and the communication with our external URLs. So what's been bringing employers back to using us even when they utilize the external URL, which is actually when the candidate leaves our site to go to the employers to fill out their application method on that end. A lot of times we have to ask the candidates to make sure that they reference HTM jobs or the employer will ask during the interview process. So there's a little bit of a I guess, miscommunication if there is any when they're doing the external URL, but we're positive that we're helping placing through the external URLs. And then with the online application, we would say over 100. Yeah, we see, I would say roughly 20 to 30 new qualified applicants each month for all of our positions. Um, and so we'll make sure to send those on the way. And then like Kristen said, it is a bit more difficult to track just because we do offer the two different types of applications to make that easier for employers. Um, but like we said, we stay on top of it. We make sure to track who's leaving our site, um, the numbers, anything like that. We try to do our best to give that information. Great, we've got time for a squeeze. A couple more questions is, do you have any future plans to recruit professionals from outside the USA? Ooh. Oh, that's a great question. We get um, contacted, I would say, quite frequently on international candidates looking for positions um, located in the U.S., and we make sure to reach out to all of our employers to see if sponsorship is a possibility within each organization. So it's just a matter of us keeping in contact with um, candidates that work internationally that are looking to come to the U.S., um, and then I'll let you speak on what we're doing with the candidates. Yeah, so like Kristen said, we'll work directly with international candidates on their visa status, you know, what they're permitted to do as far as work goes in the US. Um, and then we've also posted international positions before. I don't think we have any on the site at the moment, but we have done that before. So be on the lookout for those. And then just a quick little shout out, we have are currently working with or have in the past worked with Mercy Ships, which is a great organization, nonprofit I'm assuming, um, is you know they are biomedical technicians on a ship. So they're accepting applicants. It's volunteer based, but they're accepting applicants for technicians um, no matter where you're located. So we've been directing a lot of our international candidates at least that way so we can try to help in the meantime before there's any type of permanent position we can offer. Perfect, time for one more before we wrap up. Do you have an iOS app for HTM job? That's a great no, question. No, we, we do. should. <laughs> We do not, but that is a great idea. And that's why we love doing these things because are going to in-person shows, we always leave it with a fantastic idea. Yeah, so thanks, <laughs> but no. But no. <laughs> Perfect, there's something for the future to discuss. Anyway, we've come up to our hour. So thank you so much, Sydney and Kristen, for your time and for such a great and informative presentation. I'd like to encourage everyone to visit uh, htmjobs.com to learn more about the services they provide for the industry. Um, as promised, the answer to today's trivia question is, of course, the Batman building.
A mm -hmm. uh, quick reminder, you can obtain your CE certificate by completing the post-webinar survey, which will be emailed one hour after the completion of today's webinar. You must complete the survey to receive your one CE credit from the ACI, and you'll be able to download the certificate directly from your computer once the survey is submitted. If you have any questions, you can reach us at webinar at mdpublishing.com. Uh, we'll be back soon with another webinar, so please visit webinarwednesday.live for more details and complimentary registration. Thank you once again for your time today, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.